Hey, deserving listeners. I'm Daniel Ryan Spaulding, a comedian in Berlin, and today we're going to talk about my new YouTube crush, Dr. Kirk Honda. Dr. Kirk Honda is a therapist and a professor, and he has a podcast called Psychology in Seattle. And on YouTube, he analyzes episodes of 90 Day Fiance and other dating shows, and everyone loves him. Check him out. Hey, deserving listeners, it's time to continue our journey with Lisa and Usman on 90 Day Fiance. My name is Dr. Kirk Honda. I am a therapist and a professor. I'm going to react to this TV show and see if anything of interest comes out of my mouth. Let's see. I don't know what's going to come out of his mouth, but I sure know what I want to go in his mouth. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Kirk, that went too far. Oh, he's so smart and so empathetic, and he gives the best observations about relationship dynamics. And most importantly, he's so cute and sexy. Yeah, I said it, Dr. Kirk. Don't pretend that you don't want to hear it. You want the love. You don't like negative YouTube comments. You even said it. And comment below, uh, what do you think about what I've said so far? Has any of it made sense? Go easy on me. I have thin skin. Uh, and really all YouTubers, in my experience, I know a lot of other YouTubers and podcasters, uh, we all have incredibly thin skin, even though they might not indicate it. Poor little thin skin Dr. Kirk. He just doesn't know how beautiful he is. Dr. Kirk probably had so many patients and so many students that thought he was so cute and wanted to tell him, but they couldn't because of ethical boundaries. Well, guess what, Dr. Kirk? I'm not your patient. I'm not your student. So I'll say it as much as I want. Sexy Dr. Kirk, you can't control me. You can't stop me from adoring you. Dr. Kirk, Dr. Kirk, I love you, I love you, Dr. Kirk. Oh, now I bet Dr. Kirk is gonna try to analyze me. So in my estimation, it seems like this is a classic case of transference, which is when someone takes their lost feelings of admiration or romance and transfers it onto their therapist. Perhaps this Daniel Ryan Spaulding, perhaps he had a bad breakup or is dealing with some, some attachment issues based on past traumas. Well, I'm sorry, Dr. Kirk, but it doesn't matter what you say because you're basing your opinions on a very limited amount of information, like you always say. Everything I say in these episodes, you have to understand that I am basing my statements on extremely limited, extremely limited information that the shows will show us. And so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Honey, I don't have a grain of salt. I have a box of salt. Oh my God, I love his little disclaimers because he's so ethical and fair. It makes him even more cute and sexy. Dr. Kirk, Dr. Kirk, I love you, I love you, Dr. Kirk. But the best thing about Dr. Kirk is how he encourages people to go to therapy and reminds people that they're deserving of love. So thank you, Dr. Kirk you sexy bitch. And please, keep taking care of yourself and others because you deserve it. You really, really do. And everyone out there, please take care of yourself. Go to therapy when you suffer from things like this. Therapists can help because you deserve it. You really, really do. Oh, I know I deserve it. <laughs>